Hey, I'm back and I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to add mods and other types of maps that are for mobs onto your ARC server. It's a way easier process than most games are to add mods on. So let's get started. All right, so the first step is to go to the Steam Workshop for ARC. And you're gonna wanna find all the mods you want, which is really easy. There's a, there's plenty of choices. You scroll through all, all of them and Wildcat mod, that sounds cool. Um, there you can find all the maps sorted. It's, it's really easy. So what you want to do is you're going to go to it, all the mods you want. Is first of all, you're going to want to subscribe to them. So this can Omax so this thing to download them and put them to ARC for you. You want to subscribe to all the ones you want to put on your ARC server. It's just it's how it is. If you don't even want on single player, you, that's cool. You can enable disable it. But to get it onto the ARC server, you have to subscribe to it. So once you subscribe to it, you're going to want to find the mod ID. So there's different ways to find the mod ID. Uh, the first way is the easiest, in my opinion, is just look for it into the description. Most modders will put the mod ID inside of the description of the mod, and it's really easy. Like this one, it's 507648142. This is for the Baby Dinos Enhanced mod. It's a great mod. But um, Or the second way you can do it is you can go on to the Steam browser and then go to it and it should be in the in the web address up there but in my opinion this is the easy way to find it so once you're subscribed and you found it make sure to write down or remember copy whatever you want to do this number right here you're gonna you're gonna need it so write it down copy it blah 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 but after you're subscribed to all your mods and you have them all the numbers written down and everything you're wanting to um, start out arc and that'll be the next step all right. Okay, so once you're in Arc and you have it started up, you should see you should see all the mods. It should be in the like top, bottom right hand corner. It should be say installing a certain amount of mods, five mods or so, blah blah blah, and the name of them. Name of them. So after that's done, just to make sure that you, they're downloaded, you want to go to host and then local and then go to mods and make sure all the mobs you subscribe to are in this list right here. Like, that's just telling you that they are downloaded and they're in ARC. They're not in your ARC server yet, but they're on ARC. And this is why I said you can, you have to download them on here to put them on ARC server. You don't have to use them in single player because you can choose the like which ones you want in your single player or not. But um, so that's how to that's how to that's how to make sure you have all your mods installed. So after this is done, that means all your mods are ARC. You're gonna want to go to somewhere else. Once you got that stuff done. You want to go where all your where art your main game arc is installed, which should be in your Steam apps. You can find that and stuff. So you go Steam apps, common, arc, shooter game, content, and mods. And in here, we'll show you all the mods that you have you subscribe to and start arc, start up, started up arc and installed. And you can clearly see these are all the mod numbers, which I was telling you about earlier. So. Once you see all, once you see all of this, all the mods and everything, what you want to do is take each one or all of them, which whatever you want, is you're gonna to want to copy and paste it. You want to do it for the the this the VLC the mod uh, file and the um, mod folder. You want to take this the matching one, so 632, 632. These ones I would take these ones forever mod this is, which is the Primal Earth one. So once you have once you have these ones selected, let's say I'll, I'll, I'll choose these ones. Control C. You're gonna wanna go to where your ARC server is installed. Which I have a whole video on that of how to get your ARC server, which is the whole point of this. So I would go to that, so I would go to where ARC, my ARC server is installed. Go to shooter games, content, mods, and then put it inside this one. So you're basically you're, you're duplicating from the other mod folder of your ARC game into the ARC server folder. And so once you have this done, once you, uh, you're done transferring all the files over, you're gonna wanna go into your ARC server config, which is in shooter game, saved, config, Windows server. And once you're in here, you wanna go to game user settings, and you're gonna have to create this most likely. It is active mods. You wanna type in active mods under anywhere under the server settings, equals, and then this is the mo probably the most intimidating part is you're gonna have to type in each each um, mod number 
with a comma and you just type them all until which each mod you want or even each mod you want to install into your arc server and all make sure it has you have to make sure it's inside your arc server mod folder though so basically you're copying the mod id and just putting it after the equal sign and active mods and once this this is all done you have that all installed and all the the numbers in you're just gonna go file save exit and then you're done and basically once you start up your arc server with your start server command anyone who has those mods can join your server and you're able to use them and you're done so um thank you for watching i uh, hope you hope you learned something today and i'll see you guys next time bye